Hello everyone, this is Wilson here. Let's look at these two limit problems. Um, for one of the limit problems, we have x approaching infinity and the other one x is approaching negative infinity. The functions are actually the same, right? So these two problems look so similar, but they're actually different. And so um, I put them side by side because we want to compare how small details can actually change the final answer. So now let's get started. Since these two limits are limited at infinity, so what we are going to do is that we are going to use the strategy of factoring out the highest power from both the numerator and the denominator, then we can actually uh, simplify this, uh, the limit problem into a, a limit problem that we will be able to find the answer. Okay, so let's try it. Um, what we are going to do first is that we are going to factor out the x from the numerator. Right, because that's the highest power. So if we factor out the x, then we are going to be getting 5 minus 1 over x. And then what about the denominator here? The denominator is actually the same, uh, same thing that we need to do, is that we are going to be factoring out x squared because that's the highest power for the stuff inside the radical. Okay, And then we are having 4 plus 1 over x. Okay. So the next step is to take this x squared because now it's a product, x squared times this thing, right? So next thing is that we are going to take the x squared outside the square root. And how do we do that? We are going to just recall something that's really important here. So let's just recall. Okay, so let's just recall that if you have x squared inside the square root and how do you simplify that? That's not really just x, right? So you gotta be careful. Um, <clears throat> it depends on the sign of x. So what happens is that we are going to get two situations. This is equal to x, simply just the x, when x is positive or zero. But on the other hand, we are going to get negative x if x is less than zero. I think this will get in the way, so let me just move it some a little bit so that it won't get in the way of the other problem. Okay, so now that's that. Okay, so now all we need to do is to ask ourselves, um, is x positive or negative? Now it says that x is approaching infinity, so that that's really just saying that x is positive. Okay, and so that means we can actually simplify that as just x. Okay, so we are going to be getting, oh, actually it's infinity, right? So we get the top doesn't change. So just copy the top. And then in the denominator, we are going to be getting what? Just the X, just the X. And then we still have some stuff inside the square root. Okay, so we have the four plus the one over X in, inside the square root. Oh, actually we don't need the parentheses, okay? Okay, so that's that's what it looks like. And now because we factor out the x from the top and from the bottom, we can actually cancel them. Okay, so we can reduce the fraction. So now I want to point out that if x is approaching infinity, then what happens to this 1 over x? It's going to be approaching 0. Same thing for this 1 over x right here. So our problem actually becomes 5 minus, okay, 0, okay, so that 0 comes from here, and then we have the denominator now, which is what? Which is the square root of what? 4 plus 0, right? Because 1 over x is approaching 0 when x is approaching infinity. Okay, so now it becomes really obvious what the answer is. The answer will just be 5 over 2. Okay, now um, this problem here when x is approaching negative infinity, it's actually almost the same thing that we are having here. So if we are to do this problem, right, we are going to do the exact same thing for the top. Just copy, and actually, um, we are going to do the same thing for the bottom as well. 
So the denominator is actually having the same situation. We factor out the x squared, and then we are left with the 4 plus 1 over x. We see that the first step actually look exactly the same, except that when x is, this one is x approaching negative infinity. And because x is approaching negative infinity, then what happens? Then x is less than 0, OK? So that's something to keep in mind because we are going to simplify the square root of x squared next. So what happens is that when we simplify this square root of x squared, since x is less than 0, then square root of x squared is equal to negative x. Okay. So in that case, we are going to be getting... A different results, which is what, which is negative x instead of just x, okay? And then the stuff inside the radical, the radical stays the same, right? Doesn't change. Plus one over x here. Okay, so see that the idea will still be the same. We are going to cancel out the x. But you can see that if you compare the two problems, we are actually having an extra negative sign that we have right here. Okay, so in that case, um, the problem has become 5 minus 0 over... There was the leg extra negative sign, right? So negative square root of 4 plus 0. Okay, so now what is the final answer? Final answer is negative 5 over 2. See that we are actually getting a different answer. And that's due to this fact right here. It's really because um, if we allow x to be either a positive or a negative real number, right, including 0 to be in the first case, is that um, once you square it, no matter whether that's a positive number or a negative number or 0, it's going to be uh, non-negative. And then you take the square root, then it, it will still be non-negative. So what happened is that if you simply just write the x, why is it wrong? It's really because when x is negative, then you are getting a negative number. But that's not okay. So that's why we need to put an extra minus sign here to negate the negative x so that we still get a positive answer. Because you know that this square root of some stuff is will just be what? It will just be a positive or a zero, right? If x is zero. Yeah, so... That's something to keep in mind when we're uh, doing this kind of problem, okay? If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this.